Well, right now, there are thousands of cross country skiers hoping tomorrow's snow and tonight's snow will hit Hayward, Wisconsin hard. Yeah, that is where the 44th Birkebeiner is taking place. It's about a two and a half hour drive northwest of the Twin Cities. And Mark Rosen and Liz Collin are there right now, and they join us. Hello, you two. Hi, you guys. Yeah, good evening here from Hayward, Wisconsin, where it's easy to see that things look a a little different this year, right? Yeah. Organizers are doing what they can to make the most out of this event with really so little snow. There is still a chance for skiing to happen on Saturday, but that's going to happen north of here if it does at all uh, in Cable, Wisconsin. Yeah, Liz, we, we found out a lot today. But people from all over the world have been coming to this event for years and years and years to make plans a year ahead of time. As you can see on the street, which is supposed to be covered with snow, there's nothing but sidewalk, and that is it. In fact, the racers are supposed to ski off of Lake Hayward just a few blocks away, then make their way here. All that, of course, has changed because of the weather conditions. Take a look at this video that we shot yesterday. That white line out there on the lake is where they try to build up the snow as the weather turned warmer. All the efforts of the organizers just did not help. There's open water where the skiers should be coming up on the shore. The Monday rain they had here was just devastating for this event. It's such a sad turn of events, really, for a race that draws thousands of skiers every year and has been that way since 1973. But take a look at what we found just a few miles north of Hayward this afternoon. Those, in fact, are skiers. Well, a couple of them, <laughs> anyway. Uh, the skiing wasn't great, but they got out there. They gave it a shot, nonetheless. Right now, there's two inches of solid ice. They need at least four inches of snow tomorrow, we're told, to give any skiing on Saturday a chance. It's really just too dangerous at this point, and we've learned that they will make that call coming mm -hmm. up tomorrow by noon, Rosie. So basically, Liz, it comes down to these three options. One, a big snowfall, which means some sort of race. Two, a little snow, which means a fun ski option. Or the last one, just a party. So I think that's looking the way it's going to be. But people are all in on this thing. I mean, the folks are obviously disappointed, but they're supporting this Berkabine event as they have for so many years. They're, they're signing up for more events. They want to make this work the best they possibly can. And we can party, guys, with them. There so you go. We'll, we'll, yeah, yeah, we'll uh, figure it out. Option four when you're in Wisconsin is probably <laughs> line and kugel and spotted cow. That's your best option. Listen, there's plenty to do there. And, Similar uh, to option three. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Correct. Plenty to do, plenty to eat and drink there. Yes. All right, we'll see you again in a you little bit. You're going to make yep. a lot of friends, you guys, which is really okay. good. Thank you. Well,